day one of what we're calling Hiking Camino de Santiago for a Cure. So this is my third journey in honor of my niece Jenna. And this time it's unique because I'm in Spain. Each day of the journey, I'll be walking in honor of another child with Sturge Weber syndrome. And our hope is to raise awareness and to raise funds for medical research so that one day, and one day soon, we can find a cure for these children. At least we made it to one place, right? <laughs> Following our shells to the Atlantic Ocean. just as fast as we do. This is the organization hosting Hiking Camino de Santiago for a Cure. It's a foundation that my sister Ida and I started several years ago. And for this particular event, we're working with an association here in Spain that does similar work. And I'm wearing their wristband. It's the Association Española Syndrome Sturge Weber. So two great organizations coming together for the same goal. And our hope is to raise awareness on both sides of the Atlantic. And as we're heading toward this path, two people come walking towards us. The interesting thing was, when we asked if we were going the right way, the Frenchman said to us, there is no wrong way. And I hope in some small, small way, I can um, let these families know and let these children know that they are loved and supported by me and by the other people who are rallying behind this cause and this event. And truly, the children and their families are on their own Camino every day. We started in Boadilla and finished in Carrion. And today was in honor of Cindy from Fort Collins, Colorado. And today was in honor of Araya from Florida, Juan from Madrid, Laia from Spain, Jackson from Southern California, Jameson from Massachusetts, Audrey from Madrid. And Audrey is one lucky little lady. Her mother, along with several other families, started the Sturge Weber Association here in Spain, supplying love and support to all the families affected by Sturge Weber. The night before our first day of the Camino, we stayed at an albergue in St. John Piente Port. And the, um, the innkeeper there, a man named Joseph, had us all gather around and get into a circle. He had us all um, sit and very quickly, just in a few words, explain the title of our Camino. And when it came around to me, um, even though I had been thinking, I'm like, uh, Journey of Hope, Journey of Hope, Journey of Hope, because that's the subtitle of this event. When it came to me, I said, Journey of Healing. been doing this work in honor of my niece really uh, since she's been since she was born her mother my sister Ida means the world to me as well so I've wanted to do this for them and over the years I've gotten to meet other children and adults with Serge Weber syndrome and I've developed friendships and I've developed a love for these people that is hard to put into words but it's true and it's sincere and it means a great deal to me. In 2013, they discovered the cause of Sturge Weber syndrome. So now, with this knowledge, 
they are researching and developing better treatments and there is hope for one day even a cure. The plan is to do a nice leisurely walk into Santiago tomorrow and get to the cathedral in time for the Pilgrim's Mass at noon. And this is Dario. I love you, Santiago. Yeah! But the unique thing about this particular endeavor is I didn't do it by myself. And I haven't done it by myself at any point. I've been blessed and fortunate to have my friend Mary join me. But here we go, 27 kilometers to Wuxia. And that, my friends, is the end of Spain. So we walked from one end of Spain to the other. Pretty cool. I feel as though I came out here with questions and a lot of uncertainty. I'm leaving with excitement and new ideas. And I'm really looking forward to getting back and incorporating those. All right, 30 days later, here we are. not one word to describe the feeling that I received, but if I had to choose a word, I would say joy. We made it. Day 31. Mushia to Finisterre. And today was in honor of two special little ladies. Riley from California and Sophia from Spain. And these two girls have something in common. They both bring joy and happiness to those around them with their smile and their spirit. And to me, that represents hope which is what this event is all about. Day eight. <laughs> Day eight. Day eight. <laughs> Camino shell shaved into my head. Something like this, would that be appropriate? story to be told about this guy. When I first learned about <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you're licking my bone. <laughs> this is, no, no, no. This is the inherent, what's the word that I want? Disadvantage that women have walking in the woods. Is the bathroom. But you just saw a sign. I just saw a sign. Five meters bathroom on the left. And it was accurate. There it is. There it is. <laughs> well, this is how we do breakfast in Spain. Tortilla de patata and cafe con leche. Every freaking day. Mary just informed us that today there's a lot of muddy paths and... And the smell of manure. <laughs> of all the things to be known for, manure. Look at this. It only has three beds because apparently the fourth mattress is missing, which is really good. We might have our own room. Fingers crossed. If not, that's unheard of in an alberghi. If not, we will. Uh, we're both picking bottom bunks right now, yep. and we'll put the random French or German guy up top. <laughs> got my passbook and my Compostela, which signifies that I completed the Camino de Santiago. Hi, Jenna. I just wanted to take a minute here as I sit on this final day outside of the Cathedral of Santiago to let you know how much you mean to me and to let you know how much I love you. This adventure across Spain has been incredible. I've had so much fun and met so many wonderful people. But throughout it all, you were in my heart and you were the inspiration behind this. Thank you so much for inspiring me. Thank you for being you. And thank you for helping me become a better person. I love you.